Are you looking for a way to organize your life? Fortunately, Tiago Forte has created a powerful and user-friendly system, PARA, Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive. Leveraging Notion, PARA provides the tools necessary to create an organized system for managing all your digital life. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to build the PARA system in Notion. We'll start with creating a database page for areas or what I like to call areas of life. Divide your life into your different roles and responsibilities such as college, online business, and family. I will delete this tags property and change the layout to gallery view which makes it easier to click into the different areas page. Let's also add some icons to our pages while we're here. Once we define our areas of life, we can look at our current and future projects and put them under these areas. We first create another database called Projects. I'll then list down some example projects and delete the tags property. We'll add a few properties to track our work in life projects before making the relation to our areas database. Starting with a status property to track our project from idea to completion. You can customize and create as many options you need. Next will be start date and end date of the project. And then a select property for priority level. Lastly, we will have a relation property to relate our projects under an area of life. Once done, we can now add our example projects to their respective areas. Now I'll fill up some project details and add some icons to our pages. And for projects, we can choose a different layout like the board view which makes it easy to track our project status. I will also turn on color columns and show the area's property. Now that we connected the areas and projects database, we can go back to the areas page and add a progress bar to see an overview of the completion of our projects. The progress bar can be done by using the rollup property, which helps pull in properties data of the related database, that is the projects database. After adding the rollup property, we select the project's relation, then choose to calculate the percentage of the projects marked as completed. The options to show as a progress bar or ring will then appear. Now if I go and mark my only project under this area as completed, it will reflect a 100% completion rate. Now what we want to do is to generate a view that reflects only the relevant projects inside each area's page. For a repeatable process as such, we can use the database template. To reuse the same database in another page, we simply copy the link of the project database. Then go into the area's template, paste it and click on create a link view. Since we no longer need to know the areas of these projects inside the area page we can hide and show other priorities we need. Once we customize to how we want it appear inside the areas page, the most important step is adding the filter to filter out only relevant projects. This can be done by filtering for the name of this template page. And now when you apply this template for any areas page, it will update to filter projects assigned to that specific area. Moving down the PARA system, we have resources. We first create another database page called resources. I'll delete the tags property and add some example resources. For the properties, we start with a status property to track our resources for when they are captured till they are reviewed. We then a URL and files and media property which is usually where the resource is hosted. Then a select property for the resource type such articles, videos, or tweets. And followed by a multi-select property for tags to further group our resources by certain keywords. Now we just need to add a relation property each to areas and projects to make this system connect.
I will also add an icon to represent our resources pages. A quick tip for you to add the same icon faster is to create a template with that icon. Now everything you use the template, you can add the same icon in one click. Let's see how we can utilize resources and other databases like projects. Going back to the project page, we can first update to show the resources property as a page section. This allows you to have all your project related resources in one section and even show its properties that could the link to these resources. Similarly, I can do the same for our areas database for when there is a useful resource we captured for a project yet to be created. Lastly, we need to implement the archive system. To do this, for every other database, we will add a checkbox property to mark each item as archive, and then filter each view to only show pages that aren't marked as archive. This process is what keeps our database views relevant and not cluttered by irrelevant or completed work. Now that we're at the resource page, we can customize the layout of this view as we did for other databases. I think a list view can help make this resource page looks clean and easy to use. On the list view, you can easily fill up the resources details right on the front page as well. Going back to our archive system, once we have added the checkbox and filter set up for all the other database, we create a new page called archive. Using linked database views, we can copy the link of each of the other database and paste them inside this archive page. And the only thing to update would be the filter for the archive checkbox marked as checked. For project database, we can also change the layout from board to gallery view since we won't need to track the status of our archive projects. We can now go back and test our archive system. Once I graduate from college, it will no longer be an area of my life so I can archive it and it will disappear from the area's view. And for any completed projects, I can also archive them to hide from my main view. And the same applies for irrelevant resources. These archived items will remain easily accessible for when we might need, while the remaining part of the system helps us to focus on our current priorities. I hope you enjoyed this simple PARA setup to create your own second brain in Notion. Having a structured system certainly helps to keep the abundance of digital information organized. This is just the beginning of what Notion can do. It can be as powerful as you need it to be. If you want to learn more, subscribe for our updates. We look forward to sharing more with you.